Brockmeyer, premise of the show, I, I think I encapsulated it, but it really is a great idea. Your character has a meltdown because yeah. uh, he finds out that his wife has uh, been cheating on him. And what I love about it is that your character is a very good play-by-play -play announcer, and he starts discussing how his wife humiliated him in between accurately calling the game. Yeah, he never stopped. Like, the, the premise was, do these guys always sound like this and they can say anything they want as long as they give the count? This guy, I'm talking like Brackmeyer right now. Yeah. This guy walks in on his wife uh, in the middle of an orgy, actually, and in a blackout drunk, you know, ends up saying things on the air in the middle of the baseball broadcast like, hey, for you kids watching at home, a strap-on is what mommies use to penetrate daddies. Johnson swings and misses at a breaking ball 0-2. <laughs> uh, you never lose the rhythm of no, the no, game. No, no, he, 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 yeah. he continues to call the game uh, until he's just reduced to a puddle on the floor and then is thrown out of baseball, uh, as you might imagine. Yeah. And, uh, and then he's, you know, he's off, uh, he ends up calling cockfights in the Philippines on television, which they really do, by the way. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal over there. I know they have cockfights, yeah. Yes, and they televised them. Yeah. Uh, which Brockmire ends up doing, he makes it back to the minor leagues with Amanda Pete's team. And uh, not enthused about this, but one of the things is he's a very talented wordsmith, and your character has very, uh, as a lot of announcers have to have, they have great things they say about a home run or a line drive. They have yes. great little sort of uh, colorful, you know, euphemisms. Uh, and your character, what are some of the favorite ones that you've said? Or do you have a favorite one that your character uh, There's a couple of good Brockmire ones. Uh, oh, man, that ball cannot be buried in a Jewish cemetery because it just got tattooed. <laughs> uh, or... Somebody. <laughs> I really like that. Somebody get me some antibiotics because that ball is gyno real. <laughs> <laughs> um, right? balls I'd like. I would really standard. I would love it. Scully stuff. Yeah, yeah I would Scully. love it if, yeah. if it, I would listen to uh, a baseball. Would I? Yeah, you should. You got You got to do that for a whole day. I've been, well, now as promoting the show, I've been getting. I was in the Mets radio booth yeah. last week, and I've been doing. I've been actually starting to call games. Like this, this. is great. I want to hear you do a whole game. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs>